Yeah, it's raining. That's the intro. That that that's the intro. It's raining. It's a it's tradition now. Something has to happen at the start of every intro that is weird, and it's raining. So there you go. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. I'm going to go down here where it is semi-dry. In the last episode, we made our own tools, which I am really happy about. But not only that, we got a lot more done. We also have this brand new shield now, and we crafted ourselves an elixir rush vault crystal, which I'm itching to run. But first, there are a couple of things. One, we have an unspent skill point. I don't know if I said that in the last episode. However, I think I'm going to save it to be able to get either strength. Oh, I could actually get strength now. I'm not really in need of strength, so I think I'm going to save it towards speed. And I need four of them, so that's going to take a little bit to get to. And another thing is, we have entered Alpha 11. A bunch of cha uh, changes. You can read the patch notes on the Vault Hunters website. However, one thing that I really love is the border around each bounty is now showing like whether or not it's common or what so all three obviously are common here um and speaking of which i i need to think because i don't think i'm actually going to be doing this it is it's it's not exciting it's not yeah i'm going to re-roll it and we see what we get so we now have either find 10 vault plating in the vault that's doable we get some unidentified vault boots which are uh common plus we also get some knowledge chances and some chromatic steel ingots that's very good uh we can kill vault dwellers um, wait, click to view beast three. Uh, nothing happens. Well, oh, that, hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not super good, the rewards. So I'm not really interested in that. So I think I'm going to re-roll that as well. So we still have this mining, mine two, wood die ore in the vault. That would give us living affinity for 26 eyes. I, I'm willing to have that for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get that item submission, submit 117 chromatic iron ore ingot at the bounty table. We'll do mining. And that's probably going to be active for quite a while until we get it. Well, I suppose while it is ready, we're going to be continuing our quest line. Because this means we can actually get towards dealing with some of the extra vaults, uh, armor and gear that we don't really need. Plus we get towards this stuff, which is just looking really cool. So let's get to it. The artisan station modifying. The artisan station can be used to further modify and create gear that is suited towards a certain build style. The interface has slots for vault plating, vault bronze, a wide variety of differently functioning focuses and your vault gear. Acquire an artisan station. That shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's take a look here. Artisan station. That's just this. Some chromatic iron, vault assets, netherite ingot, and another anvil. Also, I wanted to make a black market today as well because that means we can actually start using our shards because we have 1092 shards. So let us go ahead and craft those two. Uh, do, do I even have... I don't think I have enough iron for an anvil, do I? Oh, wait. Yes, I do. All right, and there we go. Vault Artisan Station has been crafted. Now, real quick, what is chromatic iron block? I should be able to... Uh, I, I can afford it if I get to uh, take this and put that down there. And then we'll take a look at it later. So I'm going to place this right here, I think. Also, we can complete this and we actually get eight of these wild focuses. And this is how it looks. This is a spot for all the different focuses. We can put uh, plating and some coins in there i should yep yeah, i can definitely add a bunch of this stuff let's just add a stack of that add a bunch of these coins don't need them anywhere else at the point at this point in time and then we could do do stuff but i'm not ready to do stuff yet so let us take a look at this re-rolling gear modifiers placing vault bronze vault plating and a wild focus into the artisan station will allow you to re-roll all of your gears modifiers click the reforge button will apply new modifiers onto your gear slash weapon this is the starting steps to creating gear fit for your build style re-roll a gear piece with a wild focus right uh so what is it again so i suppose that that would re-roll the prefixes and the suffixes of the sword so i need to pick the item that i have where there's something that i don't really fancy like i fancy all of this stuff which is pretty yeah i like all this stuff attack range that's fine but i i can i can i can i can re-roll this let's see Done. So it took some vault plating, it took some bronze, it confused the vo uh, wild focus, let's see. So we got a prefix of athrop 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 that and an empty suffix. So I'm going to do that again. Ooh! Oh wow, okay, our sword actually, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect this to happen. Our sword actually just got a whole lot more powerful, plus 2.5% or plus 2.5 attack damage. That has increased it to 11 attack damage and even better range. 
Wow. Also, yes. This is a, actually a pretty nice view, not gonna lie. Anyway, so we can complete that and we get some stuff in return that we can put right back into the station. So, scrapping vault gear. The vault recycler is used to break down old and unwanted gear into vault scrap, wild focuses and fa faceted focuses. I'm butchering that, I'm sorry, but it's just what it is. It can also be used to break down and recycle jewels, magnets and inscriptions. Acquire a vault recycler. Definitely want to do that because we do have have a bunch of stuff uh, that I don't need. So that is five chromatic steel ingots, a lava bucket, netherite and well, I don't even think I have enough chromatic iron ingots anymore. Um, no, wait, nope, that's the only four. Uh, right, refined cap. Oh, I can do that easily. Just gonna do this. Yep, do that, do this, and then that, boom. And just like that, I now have enough. Very good. And let me just grab all of this as well. Nice. So I need two of those. I then need to get a netherite ingot. And then I need a lava bucket, which, uh, oh, 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 I think. Oh, get, no. Yeah? Yes. I completely forgot that this existed right next to our base. Well, that made that process a whole lot easier. That's my first time picking up some hot lava. It is indeed hot stuff. I don't think in real life I would be able to hold that. Well, I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to hold a bucket with lava in it like this, but uh, it's not real life now, is it? Anyway, Vault Recycler. And I can complete this and I can get a little bit of Vault Scrap. We will place the Recycler put here in the corner. Yeah, that's a nice place to do it. Uh, can I put this stuff in there? No, uh, maybe another chest for that stuff is uh, a good thing to have. Meow. Boop. Catching. Nice. Nom, 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 nom. So that means with that, I can now actually take all of the stuff that right here, which I know I'm not going to use because, well, I'm not gonna probably, I'm not gonna use it. So I've saved all the really good stuff. I don't think I'm going to save the stuff that's over here, even though I mean, it's decent, but I'm going to get new anyway. So I'm just going to do the, probably the not responsible thing. And I'm just going to, yeah, scrap all this. We got to focus in there. That's cool. Some raw magnetite and chromatic uh, nuggets. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna do all this because I, I've been through all of this anyway, all of this gear. And I placed it up there because it's not something that I'm going to be using. So yeah, just gonna do all that and boom, just like that. And a facet focus can be used to modify vault gear, reforge all prefixes and suffixes, guaranteeing durability. Hmm, I'll add that to that. I want to, I think before we go into the elixir vaults, we should probably reach this quest line right here, even though it's probably going to require us to do something that we've already done but let's take a look gaining more xp crafting and consuming burgers is a great way to gain additional vault experience burgers are crafted by combining burger ingredients in a crafting table these progression based ingredients can be found within living chests and grant the player more experience based on the amount of ingredients used craft a plain burger i actually don't know how many burger pieces we have 23 and 18 burger uh beefs patties whatever they're called and i can currently make exactly uh oh <laughs> i can make exactly 18 how many does it require oh crap a plain burger well i suppose yeah there we go craft one and i'm going to get 10 in return there we go and i suppose i might as well eat these and get to uh number nine do i want to go to level eight? yeah sure okay still level eight that's fine i could make more but i'm not going to i'm going to save them right black market chromatic iron block this should be doable now let's see chromatic iron block one two three yep perfect and then i need four driftwood and then interestingly i need i need one one of this okay i didn't know if i could actually go into this thing but thankfully i can and we got the black market i think i'm going to place that for now next to this Ooh. All right, let's take a look here. So we have 1,096 shards. I could buy some pretty cool stuff. It resets in one hour and 46 minutes. I don't think I'm going to get any of this stuff. I, I don't think it's worth it. I could get an unknown item. Do I get... Uh, I really want to kind of try and get an unknown item and see what I... Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh. Vault objectives. As you level up, the vault will adapt and present you with new, more challenging objectives. These can also be added to your crystal by crafting a seal and applying it to your crystal in an anvil. Oh dear. Level 10 marks the introduction of the elixir objective to random vaults. Level 20 marks the introduction to the scavenger objective to random vaults. Level 50 marks the introduction of the hunt the guardians objective to random vaults. Reach vault level 10. So that is our next quest and uh, well, we, we already have elixir vaults. 
so I suppose we should practice and go ahead and uh, d do our first elixir run. Yeah, I guess that's what we gotta do. Before going, I think I'm going to bring some scaffolding as a better marking. Actually, no, they suck as blocks. I'm just gonna go with the old cobblestone because you can't go wrong with that. Grab my shulker boxes and I think I have everything ready to go. Let us go ahead and do this. This is gonna be interesting. Yeet. And here we go, beginners and heroes and beginners grace and elixir. So, the the point of elixir, great orange void. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the point of elixir vaults is that you basically just loot or mine ores and kill mobs, and then you will get elixir. And that bar basically has to be full before you leave, before you can actually go ahead and get the um the. The, the this this orb as you can see it is already actually quite a lot full a lot more full than i thought it would be so let's turn on the magnet there we go and do all this so looks like mining the chest didn't do a whole lot for us let's see if killing more mobs how fast we get that so apparently not all mobs seem to be ooh, not all the mobs seem to be um Dropping elixir, but that's fine. But yeah, that's just what we need to do. And we need to do enough of it so that we can get the reward for it. And I don't know how much better the reward is going to be compared to, like, uh, a monolith vault, for example. But we'll just have to find out. And my inventory is apparently already full. That's not cool. I mean, it's cool, but not super cool. Also, what's this? Oh, we need to find... No, 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 no. We need to find one of these, actually, in order to be able to leave the vault. Okay, that's that's good to know that that is in this room. The first room, actually, where we came into the, the vault. That's really good to know. Um, hold on. I didn't, I didn't mark where I came from, did I? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember now. I came from a wooden path. And immediately I went down and got that. So that is going to be my way home. So just add that. And left side actually looked very interesting. So for once, I'm not going to go straight onwards. I'm going to go left. And there's actually another one. That is huge. So yeah, I just need to go ahead and get work to work here. Because I want to fill that bar up so we can get the reward. Otherwise, otherwise it'll just be a waste. And that, we can have that. Oh, hello. What's in here? Anything? Oh, we do have something. Ooh, coins. Lots of it. I'm getting caught. Oh, look at the bar for getting the coins. Wow. Okay. That. Wow. We're halfway there. Yeet. And yeet. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot about my, about my javelin. See, this is what happens when I don't play Vault Hunters enough. <laughs> I lose my skill set. There we go. Easy enough. Yeah, filling up this bar should be easy enough. It's only been five minutes and we're over halfway. Ooh, a lot of coin pipe. I actually think we're gonna get it here. I actually think we might complete it. Oh, no, not quite. Overestimated. Ooh. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay, this is either go. Ooh, this could... <laughs> uh, this could either be... Mm. Listen, this could either be really really good or it could be really really bad let me just do that mine down and i basically have to do this i'm gonna do this actually i don't yes we got the good one we actually got the good one and i can actually bring all of the chests so i know which ones i've actually looted and which ones i haven't that's amazing oh that's cool <laughs> i'm so happy <laughs> That is so cool. There are so many ornate chests here. I just want to get all of it. I don't know why some of them are this slow. Like, some of them are very fast, like that. And some of them are very slow. I don't understand. Alright, I think that is every single one of them. I hope, anyway. And I'd say that was actually pretty decent. And we completed the elixir as well. Consume a load so now. So, in order to get out of this vault, all we need to do is right-click on one of those lodestones and we'll be sent home. So, we actually don't need to go back to our home portal. That is sick. 
Oh, living chest, but I kind of messed up there. Okay, hold up. Wait, what's that? What is this? You're super strong. What? Unidentified vault chest plate? What have I just stumbled upon? What have I just met? Was that skeleton like a super boss or something? That's a rare plus chest plate. Wow. And my inventory is full. And there's actually more living chests up here as well. Okay. Ooh, gilded chests. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Gemstone. I didn't expect to get that. Ooh, an ore area. Hopefully I can find the ore that I'm actually looking for. I mean Laramar, Benyotite, any of that stuff will be oh will be good as well, but <laughs> looks like that is about it. Ooh, this looks fancy. Wait, why are there so many I'm scared. This look, almost looks like it would be a a, a trap. We got some bounty pearls though. That's good. That's good. We can replenish the ones that we actually used. Yeah. There's actually a lot of chests in this area. Like, look at this. Maybe it's something to do in the new update. I don't. I honestly don't remember the patch notes. I read them, but I don't remember a whole of it. And I. Eh. Yes. No, oh, no. Here, yeah, baby zombie, and my nose is itching. Eh. 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 Ah. I don't need to watch my health a little bit. More living chests. A lot of living chests, actually. I'm really looking forward to being able to unlock pouches. But that does require me to find Benyotite, which I haven't found a whole lot of. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I have not found any more lodestones. Which is kind of worrying. Oh, no mind. Right there. And I'm pretty sure maybe maybe in the next room over. But that way should lead straight back to the starter room. Which in that case would lead to a, a load soon. But I think this could just... Yep, yeah, right there. That indicating probably home. But we can also get back to this point. So this is the new center for me. Because that means I can explore the... Nearby rooms, or maybe just this room. Looks like we have a lot of stuff down here. Oh no. I... Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Benio type. That's Laramar. That's more. Oh, come on. Bruh. I... I'm happy with Laramar. I really am. But I, <laughs> I need Benio type. Nice. Alright, less than five minutes remaining, and my storage is pretty much starting to get to the point where it is uh, getting a bit hopeless to deal with. So I think I'm going to check one more room, maybe two, and then I'm going to call it a good vault run. Oh, hello. Yep. Haha. Killed it. Cool. Worth it. Uh, three minutes remaining. I do have to hurry. Yep, this is starting to be near impossible to deal with. I mean, I could potentially make another shulker box, but I really don't want to. Right, two minutes left. Let's see if this is anything useful. Ooh, some ornate. You can't go wrong with that. Just need to leave time to be able to get out of here. Which actually, I'm just quickly going to see what's over here. Not too much. Any ores? Actually, let's just look. Do we have any ores? No. I don't think so. Nope, just a bunch of the normal chests. I think I'm going to call that... Ooh, living. Uh, nope, 1 minute and 40 seconds. I'm not going to risk it, just in case I make a mistake or run into something like that. All right, time to head home, I think. So from my understanding, I just need to right-click this, and the vault is completed. Nice. Teleporting back in 10 seconds. Okay, I was like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Why is nothing happening? Okay, good. Not bad. All right, 14,000 XP and an elixir crate as well. 97 mobs unalived, and how many? How many chests? Chest loot 124. Wow. No, no, no. Um, no, no. Oh, oh, I have reached level 10. Oh wait, I reached level 10. Oh wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. That means I no longer have any grace period. I If I die now, all my stuff will be deleted. Yeah. Actually, I think there's a way to buy it back. But anyway, we have 300 spent skill points and one expertise point. That is actually really good. I'm going to place that there for now. First things first, I want to go through all the loot. And once again, I'm going to take a look at it first before I sort it. Because otherwise, we won't be able to see how much we actually got from all of this. We got four bounty pearls. That's pretty good. Got a bunch of coins, a bunch of focuses as well. Got one emerald. <laughs> That's good though. Uh, uh, Lar Larimar. And we got all this stuff. We got this, which is huge. Uh, 18 knowledge essence. Might have gotten more in total. Yeah, 21 actually. We got 39 in total. Listen, the knowledge essence and the diamonds are not the issue. The issue for me is the Banyotite. To to get the knowledge star, we, we need this. And the core is made from one extraordinary Banyotite. Which means I need 4, 8, 12. I'm pretty sure to make an extraordinary Banyotite, I have 11. Wait, didn't I say 12? Okay. I didn't realize I, I'm actually one Benutai gem away from getting our first dollar star. Ooh, if we could get that today. Anyway, let me just open these up real quick. Uh, out. I got, I don't know what I got. Oh, diamonds. That's actually not too bad. <gasps> two. Hold up. That's two relics of the same kind. The Twitch relic. Oh, that's it. Oh, I thought it was would be from the same kind because this was two hearts. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I had another relic somewhere. Yep, this relic and this relic. Manor elemental. Oh, we have two of the same one now. Ooh, uh, the. Mm, I need a I need a little something. I know my inventory is a mess. So it's probably not the best time to do it, but yeah, these go in here. Elemental and elemental. These other ones go here. Not bad. All right, let me just quickly unidentify or identify. I keep saying the wrong thing. This chest plate, donkey chest plate. Let's take a look. Four armor, three point five ability power. So that's something new in Alpha 11 ability power. I don't think I've quite understood it, but something to do with some of the like uh, I think Javelin has something to do with it. Where basically the ability power does something to the damage of, for example, the Javelin instead of your overall damage, something like that. You guys probably know it better than I do. It's in the patch notes, um, but that's cool. Four armor. Let's compare it to ours currently. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's plus three health, but not as much mana, but it, it does have item rarity. That's not bad. Durability is a little bit better as well. I I might have to upgrade. I'm, I might have to upgrade. I'm going to put that right here because that's that's actually pretty decent. Didn't find any wood to die ore though, unfortunately. Right, time to sort all this stuff out. All right, everything has been sorted and everything is not looking too bad. Look at all the coins, that's so crazy. But placing down the shulker boxes again, and we have one unspent expertise point, which I want to go ahead and use. Now, I could get an extra level in fortune. I really want to. However, there's also bounty hunter, which if we get that, reduce the bounty weight per... Ah! <laughs> that was close. Buddy. No. Yikes. That was not cool, man. Yeah, sir. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stand down here now. Like I was saying, Bounty Hunter. Right, we would need to get it to level 3. I thought getting the first one, we would be able to have two active bounties at any given time. In that case, I'm going to upgrade Fortunate to level 2. There are a bunch of other stuff as well, but for now, I really need gems. So, <laughs> that's going to be my priority. Now we have this. Oh wow, a bunch of gems, a sword, a shield, pants, and some other stuff as well. Let's get it. Right, so we got a misery egg. That's the first one I've seen of that. We got three pairs of pants. Why? <laughs> right, let's take a look at the jewels we got. We got a durability jewel. We got an axing jewel. A wooden affinity and mining speed jewel. Ju yeah, that's not bad. Soulbound, that's actually meh. Ornate affinity. Or yeah, that's that's a way better one, than, better one than the one we already have. Wow. Seven volt. Uh, gold coin. That's a stack of vault silver right there. We're, we're basically rich, I think. This egg can be used to make a skeleton key, which is interesting. Mis uh, mystery hostile egg. Uh, I, I don't know what that does, but uh, I'll add it to this. Bounty pill will be added to this. And let's start with the, not boring stuff, but the, uh, yeah, let's start with the sword and shield. Ember wing dragon shield. That's sick. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's compare it to my current shield. Uh, durability, not as good. Thorns damage, not as good. Thorns chance, basically non-existent, apparently. Uh, 
<laughs> Lock chance is also down, um, but that's fine. We have soul chance plus two. Ha actually, that's it's just a model. It looks cool. Wow, it's actually very big. Yeah, I, you know what? I prefer my other one. Let's take a look at the sword. Uh, 9.8 attack speed. Yeah, nah, nah, I'm not that interested. And we can now use this thing right here to do this. And boom, that's pretty cool. Let's identify the pants. I'm very interested in the rare plus leggings. And before we do that, though, let's just donkey leggings. Let's, oh, can't sleep, fine. Uh, four armor, durability, ability power, increased attack damage. Not as good as the ones I have. Let's take a look at these then for a bit again. Not as good. I'm going to take a look at the rare ones after a nap. All right, here it goes. Oh. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, it does have plus two health, but I don't need health that much. Yep, yeah, no, that that looked more exciting than it actually was. I'm afraid. Yeah. Bye bye. Well, that was pretty much that. Uh, let's go ahead and not do that and complete this. We should get. Oh, we got another seal. We got another seal. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Why can't I? I... Oh, guaranteeing. Oh, okay. So each one guarantees different things. So this guarantees their ability. This guarantees thorn damage. Okay, that's cool. Well, we have another seal of the sage, which will make it to an elixir rush. Let us quickly read this. A uh, bit of a read, but let's do it. Combining a vault twist and a seal in an anvil will set the objective on the crystal to that of the seals. Yep, we already know that. Elixir vaults function by tasking the player with collecting a submitting amount of elixir. We already did that. Once you have filled your external bar, you will need to find... Yep, we did that. Co-op, we are not doing co-op. Apply a seal of the sage to a vault crystal. And we get two black seals as well. Right, that'll have to be the next mission to craft the next crystal. And, well, I guess we're doing another elixir crystal. That's... You know what? I won't complain. We've been doing the monolith vaults for a wow so this will be a nice change Ooh, mutton why 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 i exactly only have two moss blocks i have no seeds i need five mutton four sheep that's not enough i do have wheat though i can breed you i can breed you two four five perfect so that's that i'm gonna hate myself for this but yeah i know i should have duplicated it but i don't have any bones very annoying now i just need to get 12 seeds that's one two three four five six seven oh, we're halfway there eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect oh don't have my light right can't do that and there we go completed catching and do this again another elixir rush and for that i keep pressing the wrong button we get two blank seals which we can then use to make any of the other ones so if we want to do a scavenger hunt if we want to do hunt the guardians or a seal of the architect or cake hunt something like that we can do so wait i already had since when did i get two other black seals we have four huh I, i'm not gonna complain though that's cool then we reach altars okay altars come in four the variants that have different requirements for completion once complete the altar will give you one of the following a totem which is in an offhand gear piece that functions slightly different to vault shields an altar scroll which can be used to craft a large decorative chest a favor which is used to apply buffs to your vaults once you have acquired a favor the next vault you run will be modified if you manage to complete that vault then you will gain a permanent favor from whichever altar you were given it from complete an altar okay i can do that we just need to find one cool well i know we have already run one one vault but what does it hurt to run a second one i, ju I, ju I just cannot not do that it, it, it's a must we're doing another elixir run <laughs> oh we still have beginner's grace oh i thought that was gone well apparently not i will not complain i guess it gets removed after level 10. Oh, but I did one of them. I mined one of the Vuto Dior. That's great. Is this? Yes, we actually got enough Vuto Dior to complete that bounty. That is amazing. Okay, please. Yes. Uh, 11 Banyatite from those two ores. That is amazing. Oh, we have special room. I don't know if being here is actually worth it. It's only a few gilded chests 
Uh, yeah, I might come back to this. Oh, yep. So, chest. I'm. If I die, I may get my be able to get my stuff back, or rather, I don't lose it. However, chest somehow able to be trapped, which. Uh... Oh, hello. Which I definitely gotta be careful about. So I'm actually really happy I got out of that desert room. Oh wow, okay. Definitely getting a lot more penny time now. Hello? I don't know what that is, but I'm mildly scared. Oh. Just a normal thing. Nothing of value, it seems. This room just feels special. Oh, hi. I don't know if I should be up here. Ooh, okay, lots of chests. Three minutes left. Oh no, why? I should grab all these and then I should head home, actually. I don't know if I, ooh, I don't know if I, no, 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 no. Less than three minutes. I don't know when, where the nearest thing is. I remember seeing one, I should have marked the room. I knew I should have marked the room. I remember seeing one in one of these rooms, I just don't remember which one, so I'm just gonna have to... Actually, I don't remember where there is one at all. Oh no. I'm pretty sure there is one in the first room that we visited. Okay, that's my starter room then. Well, that's the portal room. At least I can go through that, but I need to consume a lodestone in order to get the reward. I thought that was it. Nope, nothing here. Oh no. I don't think there is one in this first room. Yes, there is. Okay, <laughs> that was <laughs> that was too close for comfort. Definitely too close for comfort. All right, well, we unlived 145 mobs and 79 chests looted, and we got 14,702 XP plus the elixir crate. <laughs> plus, we of course also completed the bounty, which we could just go ahead and claim the reward right now. That was awesome, and we now have four unspent skill points, which means I right away can go ahead and take speed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's cool. And before we do anything else, Bedtime. And then it is time to see the loot that we got. And did we get loot indeed? 18 Benyotite gems and 55 Larimar. Wow, that's that's a lot. We have almost two stacks of Larimar. And with this Benyotite, that means we can finally make our first Knowledge Star, which we will get to later. First of all, I'm going to get all of these blocks out of here because I have a lot now, which is great. And yeah, we're just going to take a quick look at this here. So we got a bunch of Knowledge Chesses a bunch of relic booster packs as well all of this stuff which you can see here a bunch of focuses too and diamonds as well and we got a jewel with picking that that's not that's not the greatest i, I will admit that is not the greatest so 18 knowledge essence i feel like we got more but apparently not that's fine though got a bunch of relic booster packs which we will open right away and over a stack of chipped vault rock and also pizza night which is great as well and we we actually did get quite a few ore spots in that vault but let us see i'm going to disable my magnet mm, nothing okay emerald 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 diamond emerald diamond i'm really happy about getting the emeralds <laughs> all right as per usual let me go through all of this stuff and i will be right back when we have done so we also got 11 root to die gem in total not bad at all also this chest is getting quite full or both of them are actually getting quite full to be honest but let us just convert all that into a stack of vault uh silver and there we go everything has been sorted everything except for these two i'm going to open up the bounty one first because that means we have the living affinity and i don't think we have anywhere 
where to actually be able to put it. If I put it out to here, the sickle, the, sickle, the, the living chests are basically wooden chests, so it would have to be an axe. So maybe I need to make a, another axe specifically for coin affinity and living affinity. I'm going to keep that jewel in my inventory for now. And a gold coin, which we will convert just like that. Now for the elixir one. And that's going to be interesting. We can see a lot of jewels, a bunch of gold piles, actually. A shield. You know what? Let's just pick this up and see what we got. Ooh, we got a black seal. That's great. A mystery box. A bunch of jewels. An orb of regret. That's amazing. 16 volt gold. That's a lot. Uh, let's let's add that and uh, yeah, continue. So we have a chip jewel of vanilla immortality. That's cool. Mining speed. That's not bad either. 10 size gilded affinity. Wow. I think we need to make some new tools in the next episode. Mode, mode of clarity reveals all curses on a vault crystal. That's cool. That's definitely have to be saved. Some item rarity. That's cool as well. But wow. 10 size gilded jewel. I'm going to add those right down here because those are very special. These just get added to the rest of the stuff. Let us identify this stuff right here. In the meantime, now let's go ahead and add this stuff to add to add Mr. Box. Diamonds. All right, let's see what we got for a shield, durability, thorns damage, and thorns damage. Mine has health. Yeah, um, nah, nah. Don't need that. Vault boots, on the other hand. Three armor, durability, ability power, increased attack damage, plus two armor. That's not bad, though. I, I, I am going to lose 20 mana. That's not. I could, of course, reroll it, but the fact that it has implicit as three armor, yeah, nah, not really interested. This. Not as good. However, the suffix is empty. But again, mine is just more more uh, armor. So yeah, not really interested. Wand. One. Okay, let's take the boots first. Uh, four armor, durability, ability, power, increased attack damage. That's good. Mana regen is good as well. Actually, hold on. We do also have an empty prefix though. Um, this would reforge all prefixes and suffixes. Nah, I, I don't think it's good enough. <laughs> I actually don't think it's good enough yet. So we're gonna do that. Maybe a mistake, but we will get plenty more down the road. And there we go. Boom. Max mana. Okay, that's a really good focus. Anyway, what's this wand? I don't know what you use this wand for. I, I have no idea what this is. So if you guys know, please do let me know down below in the comments. It does have damage. I, I I don't know what you use this thing more for. So yeah, do tell me, please. Oh, we also got this jewel. Vanilla uh, immortality again. Nice. All right, with everything looted, we have but one job remaining after eating this piece of bread. That's not the one job. The other one job is to go ahead and grab eight of these knowledge shards and grab 12 of these benyotite. Then I need to go ahead and grab eight, I believe, of these diamonds. And we can go ahead to the crafting table, craft. Oh no, wait, I need 15. Wow, my math was, 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 was off. Nope, my math. Yes, my math was off again. We need 16 in total. There we go. Then we have four perfect wood to die. Uh, Benyotite, sorry. And we go ahead and add them to become an extraordinary Benyotite. We add some diamonds. We get a knowledge core. And then, just like that, we have our first knowledge star. Let's go ahead and consume it. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be spending that unspent knowledge point in the next episode. Yeah, I'm leaving it on a little cliffhanger. Deal with it. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. I'm very excited for the next one because, again, we're going to be spending that knowledge point and we're going to be working with our very first mod and I know exactly which one to choose. If you can guess which one it is, do let me know down below in the comments and uh, if you get it right, maybe you'll get a thumbs up. Who knows? And while you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It greatly helps the channel out and also enable those notifications so you get notified when I upload. But anyways, that's anyway, it for this one. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and until next time goodbye